Hey guys, Mike here, back with another video. It has been a while since I've been on YouTube, and there's a reason for that. I've been super busy. Nonetheless, I am here, and I wanted to talk about a piece of gear that has been important to me during my video making process. We're gonna talk about the small rig cage for the A6500, which I am recording on right now. Um, and you might be wondering, what the heck is this? Well, I'm gonna dive right into it. We're gonna talk about what I like, what I don't like about this, and some things you should consider before you buy the small rig cage. First of all, if you haven't checked it out yet, I uploaded a video on my channel. It's a travel film that I did in Chicago with my girlfriend. It was totally fun, definitely will be back. Chicago is such an awesome place to visit. I'm pretty sure all of you guys are new here. I'm a videographer based in Dallas, Texas. I like to talk about camera gear, tech, life in general. I do vlogs here and there and I do travel videos as well. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you do find it useful. But let's get into the review. I've been using this cage for quite some time now and it really has changed the way that I make videos. It's made my life a lot easier. It's such a useful tool overall just to add on different types of accessories and things like that. So if you're considering getting a cage of any sort, it's going to make your video making process so much easier, I promise. Whether if it's from small rig or somebody else, I just prefer the small rig because they've got a ton of accessories that you can add. So this small rig cage is the 1889 cage for the A6500. I do believe that it fits on the a6300 as well link will be in the description for it there is a cold shoe on the top left corner of the camera which is great i'll talk about more of that later there's a nato rail on the top as well as the right side of the cage so you can add extra nato accessories if you need to and i actually don't use this portion of the cage which is the arca quick release portion of the cage it's at the bottom some of the things that i attach to this cage are the handle and You'll see it here, um, I've got the handle on the side. Uh, it is considered a top handle, but I don't use it for the top. This one is the 2084 quick release NATO top handle, and it comes with the safety rail. It adds stability when I'm running and gunning and filming. It's not as awkward to just hold the camera body with the cage. Actually, with the handle on the side, it feels much more comfortable, much more stable for me, rather than being on the top. And actually, with the 6500 at least, the articulating screen doesn't come out enough to where the handle does not block the view. This handle has a rubber grip, which is awesome. It adds extra grip. I did buy the cheese handle. It sounds so funny, but the cheese handle, I don't remember what model number it was, but I returned it because quite frankly, it wasn't grippy enough. But it was just all metal. So it didn't feel very secure in the hands. This NATO handle hover is amazing. It actually helps me keep my videos stable. Although the 6500 does have in-body stabilization and some of the lenses have OSS, having that extra stability with the handle in the cage makes your life a lot easier. Next up, I have the small rig wooden handle. It's made by small rig specifically for the A6500. It virtually adds no weight. It adds a lot more grip for my big hands and somewhat ergonomic. I wouldn't say it's completely comfortable. It's a little too parallel with the cage. I wish it was a little bit angled more. Nonetheless, it does add that extra grip and it definitely adds more character to the camera. I really like the aesthetics of it, the way it looks. I was looking for like a leather grip rather than a wooden grip because I do like that stealthy black color. Similar to what Sony has for the 6500, it just feels better in the hand. So this is the OEM leather grip from Sony. It just attaches to the bottom via the quarter inch and it adds extra grip. It's super soft and ergonomic. Um, I use this when I'm shooting photos. If small rig had a leather grip, I would easily attach the leather grip instead of the wood one. And then lastly, it's a a small one but it is an extra cold shoe that I put on the top of the handle itself it just adds extra versatility I can attach to the top handle or to the cage itself and it has a stopper on one end of it so that it stops accessories from sliding out too far the other side so the good thing about this cage is that it's super duper light it's an all-metal design there are no plastic parts on this thing which is awesome the build quality is great I don't feel like it's cheap I put this thing on the ground quite a bit when I'm not filming, when I'm switching between cameras. It also protects the dials on the top right corner of the camera. All the cutouts are perfect for the 6500 in my opinion. I don't have any problems with reaching any of the buttons. 
um, except for the record button on the right side of the grip. I actually programmed the C2 button to be the record button because with or without the cage, it's a lot easier to press there. So if you're using the side record button, just be aware it's a little bit harder to press there. The battery and the SD card reader door still super accessible even with this cage on i love that they kept that in mind the camera attaches to the cage with two screws one at the bottom with a flat head and then one on the right side of the camera with an allen screw with this cage since it is a bit thick i want to say half an inch thick it does elevate the camera off the ground or a tabletop quite a bit so it actually gives you extra clearance for your bigger lenses or lenses with hoods on them. I also love that the cage has more than enough quarter inch screw holes for you to attach other accessories and things like that, making this thing even more versatile. Lastly, the extra cold shoe that comes on the top left, absolutely love it. So some things to consider about the small rig cage before you buy it. It may or may not make or break this cage for you, but definitely something that you should consider. The right side of the cage does dig into your hand quite a bit when you're holding it with your right hand without the grip. So that's part of the reason why I did get the grip. The cage is actually not very easy to break down or take apart. So once you have the cage on the camera, you're pretty much gonna have it on most of the time. You need a flathead screwdriver, or in my case, I actually use a quarter. And then another one is an Allen wrench, a tiny little Allen wrench this one right here so you got to carry this in your camera bag which i do in case you do want to take the cage off because of the extra weight that the cage does add definitely don't want to recommend putting this on the crane m at least the camera by itself on the crane m totally fine but with the cage and the crane m it's way too heavy for it to handle and it'll actually be harder to balance so the only two things that i would change about this setup is number one the grip black grip where art thou? And two, I just wish it was easier to break down when I want to take the cage off. So small rig, if you could find a toolless way to break down this cage, I would love this even more. I love it probably about 90%, but that extra 10%, toolless, please. So overall, I love this thing. My current run and gun setup would not be possible. I don't know where I'd be without this cage, actually. If you're thinking about buying it, it's only 30 bucks for the cage itself and then add on the other accessories. The current setup that I have has got to be less than 100 bucks. It's a great investment. It's a durable cage. What is up guys? A uh, little bit of a technical difficulty. The A6500 overheated. Those of you who have it know this problem is really annoying. My overall you know, thoughts on the cage is amazing. And if you don't have one, definitely recommend that you do get a cage at the very least. And then the other accessories you can add on later. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions about it, definitely leave it in the comments below. That about wraps up this video. If you liked it, go ahead and smash that like button, as they always say. And also, if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll be coming out with more content. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.